Here's an example problem with three resistors, R1, R2, and R3, and look at how they're connected. Is this series or parallel? Well, it's both. The problem here describes it. We say that R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, and then that thing that I just circled, that little network of two resistors, that is connected in series with this. So I have two things in series, but one of those things is a combination and it happens to be a parallel combination. So I'm going to call that RP and I'm going to find that first. And I use the formula for total resistance for resistors in parallel. 1 over RP will be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And we're given some numbers up here. 1 over R1 will be 1 over 6 ohms plus 1 over R2, that's 1 over 4 ohms and those numbers are pretty easy to write with a common denominator. That would be 2 over 12 ohms plus 3 over 12 ohms and that obviously adds up to 5 over 12 ohms. So 1 over RP is 5 over 12 ohms. So RP will be the reciprocal of this. RP will equal 12 ohms divided by 5 and that comes out to 2.4 ohms. Now remember that this and that are in series. And in series, the, the resistances add up to the total. So the total resistance is going to be the resistance of this thing plus the resistance of that. And we just found the resistance of that first piece. That's 2.4 ohms plus the resistance of R3, and we're given that, so plus 3 ohms, and that will be our answer. 2.4 ohms plus 3 ohms comes out to 5.4 ohms. And the trick was recognizing that fundamentally this is a series circuit, and we find the, the total resistance by adding the two things up in series, but one of those things was something that we had to find first, the resistance of that parallel section. Here's another example. We have R1 is 3 ohms, R2 is 4 ohms, and R3 is 6 ohms, but they're connected differently. In this case, R1 and R2 are in series, and that combination is then in parallel with R3. And we're not shown the battery here, but the battery could be connected down, down here, for example. And you can imagine charge flowing around, getting to this node right here and dividing, and some going along the top branch and some along the other, and then they rejoin at this node and come back to the battery. We're not really concerned with the voltage and the current in this particular problem. We're told to find the total resistance. So how do we do this? Well, fundamentally, this is a parallel circuit. I have something up here and something, something down there in parallel. But this thing up here is a series section, so I'm going to call it RS, and I'm going to find that and then put that in parallel with R3. So RS will be really easy to find because resistors in series are, are, are pretty easy to add up. The total resistance is just the sum of the two, so I add up R1 plus R2, and you can do that in your head. That's going to be 3 ohms plus 4 ohms, that will be 7 ohms. And then we need to put that in parallel with with this. So I have 7 ohms up here and R3 is 6 ohms down here. So my total resistance 1 over R is going to be 1 over 7 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms and I'm going to pull out the calculator and do this one in decimal form. 1 over 7 is 0.1667 and the unit there is 1 over ohms and 1 over 6 is 0.1429 and then I can just add those two numbers 0.1667 plus 0.1429 equals 0 0.3095 okay that's 1 over R so R is 1 over that so if we just take the reciprocal of that we end up with 3.23 ohms for our answer. And we would have gotten the same answer if we had worked out this math here using fractions and a common denominator as well.